in order to subscribe to my channel please click here or click here please share comment and like my videos and channel hey guys welcome to service now four minute video for developers this lesson is about api explorer in this video we will talk about ServiceNow as a web service provider and then rest explorer ServiceNow also act as a web service provider that means if any third party application wants to send request to ServiceNow it can process that request as per the API so ServiceNow provides different APIs so that different other customers different other applications can connect to ServiceNow like here you have third party applications which will send requests to ServiceNow via REST API. They will send a request to create record in incident table. Now ServiceNow will process that request and it will return some response. So whatever record was inserted, it will return the response with details. ServiceNow APIs ServiceNow comes up with different out-of-the-box APIs so that different consumers can connect to ServiceNow. And those APIs like Table API in which you can connect to different tables of ServiceNow. And you can create or read or update or delete data in different tables of ServiceNow with the help of Table API. Then we have attachment API. That means if you want to upload any attachment and query any attachment, in that case, you can use attachment API. Then we have email API. If you want to send or receive email messages, in that case, you can use email API. And then we have aggregate API. If you just want to count number of records in any particular table, you can use aggregate API. Now, these are not just, just APIs. ServiceNow comes up with more, many more APIs, which you can utilize for different functionalities in ServiceNow. REST Explorer. ServiceNow comes up with this module called REST Explorer. It's an application where you can construct and test API requests to ServiceNow instance. It is basically available to the users. And if any user has REST underscore API underscore Explorer role, they can also access it. Else, admin people has this access. Now, this is the main screen of REST Explorer. You can select the API and its versions. You can select what kind of method you want to use for this particular API or selected API. Now, this is the sample URL. It's just an endpoint. It shows you that for this particular API, how the URL will look like. And then you can construct your URL. That means you can select the table name. It's just an example for a table API, but it might change for other APIs. And here you can construct your API. It has, it has more features like you can do testing as well. You can see what kind of response you are getting. You can put a lot of parameters. As you can see, we have these query parameters where you can put different query parameters as well to get data uh, as per your need, as per the need of your application. Thanks for watching this video. Please make comment for any question.